a really dramatic resignation out of left field. None of us saw it coming, and yet Frost had given a couple of speeches being very, very critical. Now, why has Lord Frost left Mr Johnson's Conservative government? Well, I'll tell you why, because he's a Brexiteer. Yeah, he actually believes in Brexit. It's not a career opportunity. And he's actually Conservative. So he had to leave this government, didn't he? And his criticisms are right. The cost of net zero will be absolutely, completely crippling. A Tory party should not be putting taxes up right at this moment in time, given how beleaguered so many, particularly, of the self-employed are. That it's just not a Conservative government at all. And I've, you know, for the last few weeks, been very, very critical of the Prime Minister. Some of you have said that I've been going in too hard. But I think Frost's resignation proves actually my point is right. Whether it's the North Shropshire by-election, whether it's this, this isn't about the Conservative government, it's actually about the suitability of Boris Johnson to be Prime Minister. Now, in the past, people have turned around political careers that looked ruined, that looked doomed. If Johnson's going to save himself, he's got to move incredibly quickly. But he's going to find it hard, because a point was made to me today. Mrs Thatcher in the 80s suffered an Argentine invasion, a miners' strike, crippling inflation, major, major problems and attempts you know, within her own party to bring her down. But she survived it all because she had a small team of people around her who ideologically believed in the same things that she did. The Johnson problem is he doesn't actually believe in anything. So he needs to decide pretty much immediately what he stands for, get a team of loyal folk around him. Otherwise, I think this governmental disintegration will continue. And you know what? He might be gone sooner than almost anybody thinks.